Here are your weekly announcements. Today is the last day of semester one. Please see your schedule for changes as semester two begins tomorrow, Wednesday, January 19th. What does teamwork, spud pride, and gaming have in common? Our school, MHS, will have an eSports league this spring. This will be a pilot program run through community education. The team is limited to 45 participants, so spaces will be made available to juniors and seniors first. If spots don't fill, younger students will be invited to participate. If you love gaming and want to connect with other gamers, come to our, our interest meeting for the eSports teams to learn more. It will be at 8 o'clock a.m. on Wednesday, January 19th in the MHS Study Hall. Attention all seniors, we would love to give you money. The Moorhead Legacy Education Foundation is accepting applications for scholarships. Last year, we awarded 90 scholarships to graduating seniors. The application link for the scholarship is located on your SPUDS landing page, and the application window will close on February 7th. There is an appraisal required, so be sure to ask a teacher or school staff member to complete this for you. Only completed applications will be considered. If you have questions, please contact Mr. Edelson at the email you see on the screen. Moorhead's Got Talent show has been rescheduled for this Friday, January 21st. Plan to support these amazing performers and vote for your favorite act. Moorhead's Got Talent show admission is $6 and starts at 7 o'clock p.m. in the auditorium. See you all Friday. Attention all Moorhead's Got Talent performers. You must see Mr. Larson today for instructions regarding the rescheduled show. Attention Moorhead High, the winter dance has been postponed to a later date. Stay tuned for further information. Cybersecurity is a new course being offered here at Moorhead Area Public Schools. Students who participate in cybersecurity will learn how information and control inside of an electronic system such as a computer or a computer network is maintained. Students will learn also how to exploit these systems through hacking and through various other exercises. Students will be expected to learn how this knowledge can be used to harden systems to prevent malicious users from exploiting them. The course is a semester long and is a block schedule. Anybody who is interested in more information should contact Mr. Arnold in the Media Center, either directly or through email at darnold, D-A-R-N-O-L-D, at moreheadschools.org. Lunch for today, January 18th, hamburger on a bun or a turkey sandwich. Lunch on Wednesday, January 19th, tacos or a taco salad. Lunch on Thursday, January 20th, chicken drumstick with waffle sticks or a turkey sandwich. Lunch on Friday, January 21st, general tasso chicken or a taco salad. And then lunch on Monday, January 24th, corn dog pops or a Sunwise Sun Butter sandwich. For weather this week, freezing cold. With our best chance of snow, 40% on Friday. Stay warm, Spuds. Here's our AAA recap. The boys basketball team lost a close one to the Edina Hornets. Congratulations to the Spud Olympic weightlifting team on their championship at the Laker Liftoff. The results are in. Congrats to Scout on finishing in 11th place in Congress. Way to go. The boys hockey team battled it out, winning 3-1 over Sartell. Congrats to the Spud wrestling team on their second place finish at the Gadbury Invitational. Way to compete, Spuds. Here's another picture of Scout, breaking into the Super Congress Finals at the MSHSL State Debate Tournament. Great job, Scout.
Congratulations to our state debate tournament qualifiers. Emily Walker and Layla Eisenzimmer, Olivia Kelly, Emily the Straw, and Macy Larson. The girls hockey team battled it out all night long versus Rozo, winning two to one in overtime. Congratulations to our girls hockey team. There's a picture of our spud wrestling team taking second at the Ron Gadbury tournament. Congrats, Spuds. Zion Dyer placed seventh at the Bismarck Rotary. Zach Van Ankle took first place at the Rumble on the Red tournament. This 113 clean and jerk got Micah Kozad qualified for the U.S. Weightlifting Nationals. Micah is the fifth spud to qualify on the season. A lot of hardware here for the Spuds weightlifting team. The medals finally arrived from the Little Falls competition on December 11th. Congratulations to the Spud Olympic lifting team on their championship at the Laker liftoff. Here's a special news alert on second semester updates and reminders. Please take a look at your second semester schedule as it will change. Second semester begins tomorrow. Do you have classes at the Career Academy next semester? Please make yourself aware of your spud time location if you are staying at the Career Academy. This will be on your schedule by the end of the day. Here is the bell schedule for your reference as you plan out your second semester. Please take a look at spud time 1, 2, and 3 and how that relates to your schedule if you have classes at the Career Academy. As a reminder, spud time is utilized for two purposes, transitioning to and from the Career Academy and check-in time for teachers and students. We also utilize this time for important announcements and spud news. If staying at the Career Academy during spud time, you may be asked to transition to a new room. If you're staying at the high school for spud time, you must remain in your classroom during the full spud time. If you have a study hall or community release on your schedule, please note that 9th and 10th grade students have study hall. 11th and 12th grade students have community release. If you have either study hall or community release on your schedule, study hall students will be located in the media center, specifically the lower level downstairs of the media center. Study hall will no longer be in the study hall area. Community release students will be located in the media center, specifically the main floor upstairs of the media center. All traffic into the media center will go through the main floor entrance. If you have study hall, you will head downstairs. If you have community release, you will stay on the main floor. Attendance will be taken each day, so please be in your designated areas. The lower level entrance into the media center will be locked. Expectations will be communicated by the study hall monitor, including no food or drinks. It is currently recommended by the CDC that masks are to be worn. However, wearing a mask will be optional for students and staff beginning Monday, January 17th. This is a decision made by the individual and their family. Please respect the decisions made by all. Federal guidelines require that masks still be worn on public transportation, including school buses, all students that take the bus to and from school and to the Career Academy must wear a mask on the bus. Please plan accordingly. For students that are new to the Career Academy or need a reminder regarding transportation, buses pick up outside of door one at both the Career Academy and high school. If you start your day at the Career Academy and take a bus to school, for example, you have block one at the Career Academy, Please stay on your bus until your bus drops you off at the Career Academy. Do not get off at the high school. Your bus will take you to the Career Academy. Are you a student that needs a bus to the Career Academy from the high school in the mornings before first period? Please go to the bus pickup area located at the parking lot facing Casey's. You must be there by 8.05 a.m.
If you miss the bus to the Career Academy, you will go to Door 7. You will not go to Study Hall. You will check in at Door 7 with the Door 7 Hall Monitor. An attempt to get transportation will be made by the Door 7 Hall Monitor at that time. If transportation is not able to take you, you will remain there. If you miss the bus on consecutive days, you will speak to your building principal. We look forward to a great second semester. Keep working hard, spuds, and great things will happen.